Hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, I wanted to talk about the recent events that have been going on with EA, DICE, and Star Wars Battlefront 2. Uh, of course, this mostly revolves around EA and the game itself. Since, you know, DICE, you know, they had to do what they had to do. So, anywho. And even though I know people are like, oh, you jumping on the bad wagon talking about this game, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but... It is something I kind of want to talk about because it does relate to other things that go on within gaming. That's been going on in for a while now that I think, uh, I don't know why it took so long for people to kind of, I guess, see what this is turning into and what it's becoming. But anyway, Star Wars Battlefront 2, before the game came out, uh, leading up to the game's launch, it was dealing with a lot of negative uh, publicity, a lot of... Uh, you know, negative feedback from like the fans, uh, whether if they're fans of Star Wars or the games or whatever it may end up being, whatever fan base they fall upon. And of course, you know, other people who had no interest in the game, like myself, uh, because, you know, it's a bad, 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 uh, bleh. <laughs> excuse me, because of bad business practices from EA. And this has been a thing that they've been doing for a while now, along with other companies, not just EA. Um, and it's funny because it happens with a lot of these bigger uh, game publishers and whatnot. And, you know, unfortunately, I'm pretty sure there's some developers that agree with the bad uh, policies. But, you know, some of them, I'm sure, obviously don't agree with it. And then there's some where it's like, you know, they kind of, you know, in these interviews, they have to agree with it. They kind of have to, you know make it seem not as bad as it is because you know they have a job they don't want to lose their job the publisher owns them and so on and so forth so anywho trying to get on to the topic of the, of the video so you have games like this and what is good about it is that people came together finally a whole cohesive group it had nothing to do with console wars had nothing to do with what like uh, consoles and pc handhelds or anything like that None of that. It just came down to people, you know, rallying up and saying like, "No, this is bad. This, is, this isn't good. This is, this isn't needed." And personally, I feel the same way. Obviously, and I think this type of stuff needs to stop. I think this stuff, this bad business practices, like in general, microtransactions, uh, loot boxes, uh, pay-to-win models, and, and retail price games like you look at games like for honor it has like come on you have you know, star wars battlefront 2 you have uh, the freaking uh shadow of war middle of shadow of war you have assassin's creed origins you have uh i think they even did it with freaking uh need for speed payback game uh you know you have other games from you know other you know publishers like ubisoft and whatnot to do this type of like crap that's just, dumb, it's not needed, it's so petty, especially on top of that, you think about all that stuff, you know, they have DLC where you end up like, oh, buy these uh, powerful weapons and powerful equipment and whatever, and regardless of the price or whatever, it's kind of like unneeded when you're having these like exclusive things here, when you can just earn it, especially if it's a game where you earn these type of things, if the game never had anything like that before, I can kind of understand it. Like, if the game never had any type of thing where it's like, you know, oh, you progress here and you unlock so-and-so thing. If it's this thing where it's like, it just registers that, oh, you bought, you know, downloaded this thing, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Anywho. I'm against things like that. Now, for people, you know, when people kind of, like, put people in a general consensus of, like, oh, everyone who bought, whoever bought into this, even when it first started happening. I'm pretty sure a lot of people did not, didn't know that this would turn into what it has become it become very uh very uh money hungry greedy corporate nonsense that unfortunately is affecting how games are it's affecting the companies that we like or some that love uh whether if it's a publisher or developer it comes out to game series franchises properties or whatnot that we like and enjoy and that's probably the sad part about it and i think people are also at fault really those who ignore the stuff that happens they just go ahead and get it they ignore this nonsense with for honor the always online thing the, the lackluster uh, single player the 
you know, all these de the season passes and so on and so forth, buying coins and whatnot, all that sort of stuff. And those people are at fault. Those are the people who just like are willing to just allow these companies to grab my balls and let them do whatever they want. Hey, look, we have this big budget game. Hey, did, did we not tell you this big budget? This big budget game has good graphics. Remember good graphics. Uh, animations are pretty good. We brought in these all these uh, uh, known voice actors. We even brought, brought in some uh, some uh, actors from Hollywood, you know, to do some voices and whatnot. We, you know, we got all these uh, you know uh, ads on TV, on uh, on uh, websites and videos and whatnot, you know. And then sixty dollars, you know. We got a season pass. We got all this DLC, and people buy into it. People are fooled by these type of practices and they honestly are one of to blame as well. They are equally as bad as these companies because they allow it to happen. They're the reason why this stuff keeps happening. So if you speak up with your wallet, if you speak up online, <coughs> excuse me, you, you know, you make videos or whatever, you, you know, you write on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, uh, Tumblr, whatever the hell you may be on, or whatever you do, you know, speak your mind up. Say what you have to say, because if anything, if you don't speak up, or not even just that, like it's not even so much about speaking up. It's about if you just don't feed into this nonsense, if you don't allow this to happen, then you pretty much help yourself. You help gamers. You help people. Your friends, whoever the hell plays games, who enjoys games, who wants to keep enjoying games, and have full, full-fledged, like made complete games. And whatnot you know none of this like pay to win stuff in a six dollar game it is terrible it is ridiculous then people are willing to buy you know broken games when they even know it's broken but they just find it hilarious like the freaking hide and seek uh the new hide and seek flavor of the month game uh, uh friday the 13th you know you got all these people who want to go ahead and buy like, it's like they'll do anything for an online game like to do anything to get the newest and greatest like newest released game because they got to be in the loop they feel, I guess, I guess they feel like they gotta, you know, be in the conversation. They gotta, you know, they got all these friends online. They playing this game, like, oh, what a, you know. God forbid they play a single player game. God forbid they go out, you know, they got a game from a few years ago. Or, you know, it, it's like, I mean, I'm not trying to badmouth these people. Like, if you know, if you're interested in it, then that's that's you. I'm not saying, you know, don't be interested in this, be interested in that, get this, get that, but when it has bad business practices behind it, when it has all these pity, like, like, money, like, grubbing, like, kind of, uh, I'm losing my train of thought, I'm, I'm trying to save it in the best way that I can, when these games have these just bad, bad, Shady business practices behind all these stuff behind a paywall, all these incomplete things, all these things that they have to switch around, all these you know, all this bad this backlash that they're getting, rightly so, or even some of these things that just get like ignored because people don't want to speak up about it. They don't want to say anything about it because you know, like hey, you know, I want some of that, or whatever. I don't know. I don't know if people want to be like noticed by these companies or these, you know, I don't know. But at the end of the day, we as gamers, we as consumers need to speak up and let our voices be heard. And we need more instances like the Star Wars Battlefront 2 situation to keep happening with other games to do the same thing, and so on and so forth. For the better of us, for the better of gamers, for the better of the gaming industry, I think it's important that we do that. For people not make excuses and try damage control, and so on and so forth. Anyway, what are your thoughts on the matter? Let me know. Thanks for watching, and until next time, see ya.